The Amazon Kindle Fire HDX 8.9 inch tablet is a powerful gaming machine with a quad core Snapdragon 800 processor running at 2.2 gigahertz providing over three times the processing power compared to the previous generation. Plus, it features the latest generation graphics engine and two gigabytes of RAM. Let me show you a few games in action. First, I'm going to show you Rayman Fiesta Run, the newest side-scrolling platformer and the long-running Rayman franchise. As you can see, the graphics are vibrant, colorful, and the game runs without any issue. For anyone who's a fan of side-scrolling platformers, or who grew up playing Super Mario Brothers, you would really enjoy this game. It's fun. The level design gets more and more complex as you progress through the game. And Rayman gets more and more powers. So there you have that. Not bad for playing with one hand. And if you're in the middle of a game but you want to jump to another one, you can just swipe to the left. And here's the multitasking bar, so let's jump to another game. This time, let's go to Dead Space. Now, this game came out in 2011. However, with the Kindle Fire HDX 8.9 inch uh, graphic processing power, the game still looks spectacular. If you've ever played Dead Space 1, 2, or 3 on any consoles, those games look beautiful too. Well, this game looks comparable. It looks awesome. So let me just show you a little bit of it in action. You can either play it with headphones in or the speakers cranked loud. The speakers on this device are top notch, crystal clear, very loud. But I guess if you want to uh, really scare yourself, playing with headphones might be good. And for those that don't know, this is an over the shoulder shooter. But as you can see here, the graphical detail is just phenomenal. No jagged edges. The fact that this game still looks good two years later is very impressive, considering it's a mobile game. And it has touch screen controls, as you can see here. Up, down, left, right. And then on the right side of the screen, you can use that to look around. So that's Dead Space. Now let's jump to Asphalt 8 Airborne, which is a fantastic racing game. It's the eighth game in this popular uh, mobile racing franchise and they call it airborne because all the levels feature ramps where you can catch some serious air do crazy flips and rolls just really really cool stuff
Now, I am racing one-handed, so please don't judge me. I'm far better with my right hand. As you can see, the detail on the screen here is just gorgeous, with the sun shining through, the vibrant colors of the cars, the reflection off the asphalt. I mean, I played this game on the Fire HD 7-inch, and it paled in comparison. And there you have it. So before I crash and die, that is Asphalt 8. Now, if you're just trying to navigate the games on the device, here's how it works. Because the new operating system, you just swipe up to access all the apps on your home screen. You can keep them here, remove them, you can tap and hold them and move them around if you like. So you can organize them like that. Now, if you want to go up here, you can go to Games, and it shows you what's on the cloud, as you can see, all your previous purchases that you can download to your device, or what's on your device at the moment. And if that doesn't satisfy, you can go straight to the store and buy some new games. There's always a free app of the day which is worth looking for because sometimes they put some really good stuff up there. One thing to point out is that not all previous purchases are compatible at the moment with the Kindle Fire HDX. For example, just about a month ago I bought Grand Theft Auto Vice City because I was, you know, wanted to play it on my Fire HD 7, uh, you know, 7 inch display. And uh, unfortunately right now it's not compatible with the Fire HDX because Rockstar hasn't updated it to make it compatible. So Amazon did offer to give me a refund on the game, but I'm going to give Rockstar, you know, a month or two to see if they can update the app and make it compatible because obviously Grand Theft Auto is one of the most popular video game franchises of all time and Vice City was a huge game and the mobile app sold very well, so it would behoove them to update it, which they probably will do. But it's just something that you guys should keep in mind uh, if you previously purchased apps on uh, Kindle Fires in the past, they may not be compatible with the new one. And the App Store, while it does feature all of the biggies, you know, Angry Birds, Fruit Ninja, uh, Minecraft, uh, games by EA, Ubisoft, Gameloft, among other companies, there are certain games that aren't available in the App Store that are available uh, on Apple's App Store. It's just, you know, comes with the territory. Certain things are exclusive that Apple has. Uh, however, one thing I must point out is that the Kindle Fire uh, came out two years ago, the original uh, iteration, and since then the App Store has grown by leaps and bounds, and I expect it to continue to do so in the future. So if you're looking for, um, you know, plenty of apps to play, you won't be disappointed. And another thing worth pointing out is this game, or this, this gaming device, has a higher resolution than an iPad and it's lighter than an iPad Air. And it's incredibly thin. I mean, it's the thinnest, lightest tablet I've ever held. So playing games on this is a dream. Whether you're racing, playing a first-person shooter, a platformer, whatever it may be, this machine delivers and it's, it's the best a mobile gaming device I've ever played, and I highly recommend it for that purpose. So thanks for tuning in, and please check out my other videos about this device where I talk about its other features and capabilities. Take care.